for today. Shall we? Um, I have the daily graphic here. Yeah. And there's a big headline here, which is a rather sad headline, but it's a, it's a, it's a headline that describes pretty much a lot of the state of affairs in Ghana, mm. you know. It says here, Milo Marathon cries for lifeline, athletes in limbo. So since 2016, when the last um, Milo Marathon was run, the Milo Marathon has basically disappeared. And it's very, very unfortunate. A lot of things, you know, we just... It was such a fantastic way to develop athletes because people prepare all year round because they're looking forward to the Milo Marathon. You know, so I used to see people running, yeah, training, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. These days, okay. you, if people are running, maybe it's their own personal, you know, exercise, but not competitive, you know, and so... Yeah, but, but I, I also think that, you know, as a nation, we yeah. need to do so much more yeah. because these yeah. are private people trying to yeah. hold the sports yeah. together, you know. Yeah. I mean, on our part, we are trying to hold down corporate sports, mm, mm, okay, mm. but... Let's not forget that we are also a private company. Yes. Our policies can change yes. tomorrow, and that is what is going on with Nestle. You know, exactly. They've had to change certain yes. policies yes. which um, do not really um, um, favor I mean, sporting direction, activity right? yeah. so much. And you can't really blame them. No. They, I mean, if Ghana is crying, <laughs> and if Ghana can't do it, you no, will blame I mean, honestly, a company that has held it down for so long. And there's long. a reason why taxpayers' money is paid to certain people so that we have a ministry that handles youth, a ministry that handles sports. And we have a national um, uh, sports authority yeah. and, and all and, of those and things. See, so really you ask yourself, what are we doing? And you know, know? I think that when we talk of the um, public-private mm. partnership, mm. it should really broaden scope to cover so much more yeah you know so for instance if if government is not doing it entirely mm. but we have um, private entities Who doing, doing it then can we now needs team to... up yes, properly yes, okay yes. so that they can do it if they will have to get certain tax waivers and mm. certain things mm. just to encourage and yes. also um, attract others into the space i think it honestly, should really be done honestly i think that it's a low-hanging fruit for government yeah and so when you're in a ministry and there's something you're supposed to be doing, and you're, for some reason, mm -hmm. you're unable to really roll it out yeah. and make it sustainable. If there's a private company that's doing what you should be doing, yours is so simple. Partner. You reach out to weight. them, partner, and make it easy because you have the power and the access mm -hmm. to roll out the you know, a so quote-unquote red carpet to make things easier exactly. for the company because the company's already doing it anyway. I mean, look at what we're doing with this is Ghana, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exhibitions. It's supposed to be trade and ministry, um, trade ministry mm -hmm. that's handling these kind exactly. of things, right? So what, so what, what stops trade ministry way. to say that, Make look, we've seen this, yes. okay? Let's know how, as um, government, we can we can help. help we can bring, to make can things we do to, easier yeah. and to sustain it. Yes. Because, you know, we can do it up to a certain point, yeah. you know. We are also a company. I keep saying yes. this. We also will look Limited at how liability to... Company. Exactly. You so if it limits. gets to a point we can't do it, should we die? Anyway, so let me give you the rest of the headlines here. Um, the seat of Dagbon with untapped potential, um, looking at Yendi constituency, uh, 232 mortuaries operate illegally. Wow, 232 mortuaries. Okay. I think people are dying. Well, yeah. People are business. Mm, and people are stealing coffee. Did you see that thing? There's a video yes. where people are stealing coffins. No, at this point, yeah. people are stealing anything <laughs> in this country. I mean, when I saw that video, I realized that nah, no one is safe <laughs> anymore. And the security expert is saying that the intention of three police officers is premature. All right, that's it for the Daily Graphic. Now, moving on to the Ghanaian Times. Fallout of leaked tape. Police interdict three top officers. COP... Um, Mensa directed to hand over authority badge, weapon, accoutrement, vehicle. But I think there's been an update to this. Oh, there has? Yeah. What's it looks that? like it has been suspended. The, the, the interdiction, the interdiction has been suspended. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ghana, Colombia signed pact to deepen bilateral ties. Five opposition political parties go to court over limited voter registration. Portion of Ghana, Burkina Faso Road washed away at Kalio. Hmm. Well. The Chronicle has these headlines. COP Mensa faces the Sanhedrin. Oh, he, uh, Superintendent Asari, and JB ordered to surrender official accoutrements. Accoutrement. L uh, General Lance Corporal Christopher Salia goes home tomorrow. 
And we have boy, 21, allegedly severs head of nephew in Adda. But if he's 21, he's not a boy. So a man. I don't understand the headline. Chronicle, maybe you can come and explain because 21 is not a boy. Okay, court to rule on mosquitoes bail application. CSO's Lord Operation... But I don't know of, which mosquito. Hmm. This story here is very suspicious because, okay, you know, it doesn't even give you the page where the story is on. I wish I could find it. I could enter it small. Huh. Should we go into it? I love it. Just let us know because who... Because it's saying that the mosquito, no. Because, you know, in Ghana, there's only one mosquito. The general. Anyway, if you can't find it, don't bother. But just know that it's not. Um, it's not general mosquito. mosquito. Talking about here. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not. It's not. Um, I see you don't get here. Anyway, well, that's the that's headline there. Mm -hmm. So it, it it sort of suggests it's. Um, I see you don't get here, but it's not him. It's referring to somebody else who happens to have a nickname called mosquito. Yeah. CSO's Lord Operation of Cylinder Recirculation Model in the scripture for today uh, it says Matthew twenty three verse thirty three. You serpents, you brood of vipers. How are you to escape being sentenced to hell? <laughs> anyway, you know the, the um, police the leak article. tape story, you know, yes. just so we don't miss it. Yes. There is an update, you know. Uh, so, you know, these stories will come mm. earlier, mm. you know, the previous yes. night. But yes. there's an update. So, you can find the update on, on City, City Newsroom. Room. Mm -hmm. It says police suspend um, interdiction of COP men, and Superintendent Asari and Superintendent Jibi. Now, if you go down, it says the Ghana Police Service has suspended the interdiction of three senior officers who were implicated in a leak tape allegedly plotting the removal of the Inspector General of Police, Dr. Akufu Dampari. The police, in a statement dated September 7, indicated that the decision to suspend the interdiction of the three police officers was to ensure it does not affect the ongoing probe by Parliament. You can get the rest of the story on City Newsroom, but the update is... The interdiction of the three policemen has been suspended. All right. Yeah. Good, so, good, so good. do we go on yes, with the go finder? On. on the front page of the finder, women, children, voices sideline in climate actions um, is a fatal error. This is the second lady, Samira Baumia, speaking. NDC for other political parties, Sue EC. New bondholders receive 2.3 billion cities as coupons. CSO's Lord Implementation of Cylinder Recirculation Module. All right. Now, I have the Republic Press. It says here, NDC sues EC over limited voters' registration. We are unable to post all nurses due to financial constraints. Okay. Police arrest farmers for protecting... Farmlands from destruction by Newmont. I don't understand this. Police what? Arrest farmers mm -hmm. for protecting their farmlands mm -hmm. from destruction by Newmont. Okay, interesting headline there. I wonder what okay, this so maybe the, the, the lands are now concessions for Newmont. And yeah, the, I mean, I'm sure that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, but are the farmers aware? Have they been compensated? Well, maybe they Because have. if you've been compensated, it's no longer your land, and you, you're aware it's no longer your land. I know in this country, I don't know the details of the story, yeah. but we live in a country where sometimes someone can sell something to you and yeah. come back later and say that, no, you're making too much money. All this will pay more. Yeah. SP faces backlash as uh, Martin Amidu raises concerns over Cecilia, the past asset freezing. And um, NPP announces parliamentary primaries for 17 constituencies. And now the Daily Guide. IGP fires COP Mensa to others over leaked tape. But now you know there has been an update to that. Join us. NDC invites Alan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ghana. I <laughs> Ghana qualify for Afghan. Mahama accuses NPP of corruption, limited voter registration, and DC sues EC. Mm. All right, so the Herald has these headlines here. Tema Motorway turns death trap, claiming one life each day, one life every day. That's a very serious thing there. Uh, police interdiction of three musketeers sparks fury. Secret videos, pictures, and names of missing suspects out. Wow. Okay. 
Ekufuado can be impeached for flouting constitution uh, charges and sorry, and clearing agents lands Tema based frozen foods importer in trouble. East Wilanaba reveals Muhammad's kindness to Mesa Otobio. Right, so that's it for the Herald. Now, the Ghanaian publisher, NDC for others, Sue EC, over limited voter registration. We must be loyal to NPP. This is Mirku Duka, Deputy Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, speaking. Air quality, David, listen to this. Mm -hmm. Air quality in Makola, Nima, harmful to human health. Professor Kofi Amega is speaking. Please repeat that. Air quality in Makola, Nima, harmful to human health. Wait, oh. that's a very interesting headline, but you know what's making me wonder? What? The air in Nima, no? Does it stay in Nima? No, but you know that sometimes you... you the concentration The concentration there. there, yeah. So as it travels out, you know, it gets... Uh, but why didn't uh, they mention the neighborhood? Do you understand? No, so maybe... Because that, airport is next to Nima. No, but the thing is... And so is Roman Ridge. No, but the thing is, it yeah. probably depends also on the activities, the constant activities that happening within that space. Okay. You know, right, Even in your house, mm. you know, your living room, um, the air there probably will be different from when you're in the kitchen. Jennifer. Yeah, but sometimes it permeates, it can, No, right? sometimes it can permeate, yeah. but it, it gets thinner and, and the as real... The further, as, away, the further it goes, away it is the, from the, the, thinner it gets, the, the, yeah. the concentrated mm, area, mm, the thinner it gets. Mm, Do you get it? Yeah. So maybe, and the people in Kanda are in trouble, though. So that's what it means. Road. It means that so if you are anywhere within that space or yeah. around that space, you are also at risk. Yeah. You know, because by the time the, the air travels from Nima and get to City House and get to, um, uh, you know, Georgia and get to airport, we're in America. <laughs> so by, but, by that travel... But I can't though, they across the road. Okay. But when you're also coming from the opposite side, yeah. from the airport, yeah. you're okay, yeah. through to yeah. Kawukudi. Yeah. By the time you yeah. get to... Inside there, no, turning to Canada, yeah. you are in the danger yeah. zone. You get it. But I think that, in as much as we are laughing about this, it is very, very serious, yeah. you know, yeah. because yeah. there are yeah. people. Nima is a place where people live. Yeah. So constantly they yeah. are there. Makola is a place where people work. Yeah. Every day they are yeah. there. So if the air quality is yeah. dangerous, yeah. we know what that means. Yeah. People yeah. are dying and we don't know what exactly why, why, is killing yeah. them. Yeah. These are some of the issues. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what we are going to do. No, about it's true. That. Um, well, there are, there are laws that we have in place. It's just that, you know, Ghana, we don't enforce a lot. You know, and then, and then when, when there are some laws that we almost think is a joke, mm -hmm. you know. So um, you'll find that EPA has a lot of work to do. So much. Right? So there's noise pollution, there's environmental pollution, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's constantly and pollution, ongoing. Every, yes. You know, yes. it's just everywhere, every, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, there's look, we, we have a no, the, the problem in Nima and Makola yeah. pretty must be mm. really serious because mm. there are a lot of other places that I, I thought I would, would hear. Also be but if they didn't make it to the top two, yeah, then it means that Nima and Canada they're, they're in they, trouble. They, Charlie. La 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 <laughs> All right, the informer has these headlines, and that's my final paper. Um, it says here MPP presidential race, Alan Men failed him. Alan Men, Alan, I guess it's Alan's Men. Um, okay, political analysis speaking. Baumia fixes pre mixed fuel challenges. Uh, Zanetta Rawlings accuses NDC of working against her. And Varsity Dons warns Allen against forming own party. Says Pampered Chairman Ting won't fly. Hey. Okay. Anyway, now on the front page of the Inquisitor, Slay King Dampari is naked. Hey. That's why we're reading literature books and mm. you know, poems in the name of newspaper mm. stories. Mm. Food supplies to SHS is how Nanado was disobeyed. High <clears> consumption <throat> of white flour, dangerous. It contains poisonous chemicals. This is a doctor speaking. Did you hear that? Mm. Yeah. Energy Minister Powers, in quotes, Ghana at Africa Climate Summit in Kenya. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's mm. all. Yeah, so you can go over to citynewsroom.com. 
for your credible news updates. Go over to uh, City Business News for your business news updates and City Sports Online for all your sporting updates. We also have Ghana Weekend for showbiz and entertainment as well. Don't miss out on the opportunity to get updated on everything and anything you want in the news on our various portals. Oh, and, and the sports? Yeah, City, city Sports yeah, Online. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ghana yeah, Black we Stars. <laughs> You might see the me, but me. What are you going to say? We will go. Uh huh. But how will we? Do, how will we fare? Look, God, God, God will. God will provide. do us. This God is it. Say how. Say how, but what? What happened? Of all the things you said uh, at the end of the day, it's about go. Uh, it's about when uh, we will do it. Uh, right. Have you been? Uh, are we not the ones who, who, who once Chaliba, upon a time and back on the one go Chaliba, project? Chaliba Afcon mm -hmm. since 1982. It's a two. Mm -hmm. It's foul. Now, what have you done that you want to win something? Eh? Hmm. <sighs> you know what? Should we take a break? So let's take a break. Uh, let's take a break. Uh, go ahead, the SF, you come. <laughs> Enjoy your coffee. Yeah. Enjoy your tea or whatever it is that you want to have this morning. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 